I think tonight we've had the most fantastic meeting where the community have come together, some amazing good, good ideas and suggestions. There is a real groundswell for people to come together to find the right option for this fantastic place and for this wonderful community. So after tonight, I'm so heartened that perhaps we can find a community solution which will be right for Chichester and perhaps the government will see we've come together and will support. Chichester was promised this investment. We urgently need it. Um, it, uh, it, as we build more and more houses, um, the pressure on the A27 is going to increase um, and already um, it's like uh, a car park at rush hour. Um, we do not have roads that are fit for purpose at the moment and building a better A27 is absolutely essential. Otherwise in three, four, five, ten years time the whole of Chichester will become gridlocked. Well, the A27 is of vital importance to the economy generally of West Sussex and of South East England and, of course, to the people of Chichester. And we have to do something about it. We can't live with the current congestion. What we've got to find is a solution which is broadly accepted by the whole community. Without that, we're not going to get a review of the government's decision. I'm certainly committed to working very closely with Louise Goldsmith, leader of the West Sussex County Council, and with all the parishes uh, to achieve a solution that is acceptable to the community and also acceptable to government. And that's going to be difficult, but we're determined to, to give it a very good try. I think we've actually seen from tonight there are so many good-willed people here that want something done, that know that something needs to be done. And I think West Sussex as a whole, all, in, all groups, all parishes, all district councils and councils can come together and we'll find common ground. It was mentioned tonight about going away and actually creating a project and coming up with some guidance on that, taking it back to parish councils, taking it back to the people actually that live in the city, come up with their ideas so we have true ownership, true localism. Uh, I support the outcomes of today's meeting. Um, that is to create uh, workshops which are independently chaired, um, which look at all of the issues with a blank sheet of paper uh, and then, then bring in expertise to come up with a solution behind which we can all unite. The people of Chichester and, and Greater West Sussex are principled but they are also pragmatic. And I know working together and really owning the process, as they now have the opportunity, uh, they will find a way forward. So I believe that residents who live on, live on the area, who drive on that road daily, will be the ones to have the best suggestions. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to hear those voices and put something together.